And your new venture, you're focusing a lot on artificial intelligence. Where do you think the best opportunities, what companies will be the best position to take advantage of AI? I think Google, Amazon, uh, uh, Apple, I think those are probably the, the three. Uh, Facebook is trying to nestle their way in there too. But those really the iron horse internet companies are, are spending a ton of money. If we look at their budgets this year, it's going to be around $3 billion that they're going to be spending on some of this frontier tech. And so about 10% of those companies' uh, budgets is spent on this. And so that's why we think that they're going to be leaders in this space. Right. And there was a little bit of an argument between Musk and Zuckerberg this week about art artificial intelligence. Musk thinks that it's very dangerous and it's going to be like the downfall of humanity, where Zuckerberg is very optimistic. Where do you fall, Team Musk or Team Zuck? Team Zuck, I think that there is more good that can come out of this. There clearly is risk to AI, and I think that we don't fully understand what the implications are here. Let me just put it into some quick context. Is computers can think about as well as a worm can today, but in the next 20 years, they should be at parallel with humans. And at that point, there should be exponential intelligence growth. And so you think 30 years from now, computers will be infinitely smarter than humans, and that is what uh, I think scares some people but at the end of the day, I'm just a believer in humanity and the good of humanity, and there'll be the proper restrictions put in place. We're not going to have a situation where machines are going to be like Terminator and blowing things up. That's simply not going to happen. The way that it happens in a, in a malicious way is that these computers potentially could take over the banking systems and power grids and things like that. So I just don't I want people to be aware of kind of what the context of the risk is here.